Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby O'May here and for today's video, if you haven't read the title already, is what I am packing in my hospital bag and my son's hospital bag. I have watched so many of these videos of like what I'm packing in my hospital bag as a first time mom, as a second time mom, as a third time mom, and I just think they're such fun videos to watch. Obviously, some of the things that I'm packing in my bag is maybe not some of y'all's preferences to pack, and that is perfectly okay. I'm definitely an overpacker versus an underpacker, and I know <clears throat> that a lot of the stuff that I'm choosing to bring the hospital will have for me. Um, but honestly, I want to make my experience as comfortable as possible while I'm in the hospital because to me, I don't entirely feel comfortable um, in hospital settings and so um, making the space as comfortable as possible is very very important to me so I will say I did go to great lengths to um, just create or curate a, a good hospital bag. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I'm really excited for today's video. It's going to be a longer one, so grab yourself a little drink. This is just some homemade hot chocolate. Um, it is a rainy, rainy day today. It's been rainy all week, rainy and cold, but thankfully, starting tomorrow, it's going to heat up, and then the rest of next week, it's going to be in the 80s, which I'm so excited for. But like I said, grab yourself a drink because this is going to be a long video. So starting with my son's diaper bag slash hospital bag, I really could have put it all in one if I wanted to, but I really didn't. Um, so I will be bringing this knit blue um, blanket for him. I don't know if he'll need it or not. I know that the hospital provides swaddles and blankets and all that stuff, but I just wanted something of his own to bring. I also have in here um, pacifiers because I do plan on introducing pacifiers as soon as possible. Um, there are a lot of benefits to introducing a pacifier earlier than later. Um, so I have two of these. I don't know if the hospital provides pacifiers, but I have them just in case. These are the um, ad, not Advent, Event Phillips hospital grade pacifiers for zero to three months, I think. And then I am packing burp cloths, um, just two burp cloths um, because you never know. And then I have two outfits. Um, typically I've seen moms like pack two footy pajamas and then they're going home outfit. Um, but I just decided to pack two footy pajamas. We have this little newborn blue one. Um, and then we have this striped white, blue, gray um, newborn onesie as well. So I've got two of those. I may potentially pack one of my own swaddles um, just because I've heard some moms say that it's easier to use like a Velcro swaddle versus like the hospital swaddles, but I don't really think I'll have a preference. Um, so that is what I have in his bag right now. Love it. Okay, now for my hospital bag. I can lift it up. I am just packing a giant Vera Bradley duffel bag. I thought I was gonna do a suitcase, but I just decided against it. <laughs> okay. Let's start off with what I just pulled out. I am bringing along this um, sound machine. This is a Hatch sound machine. I'm super, super grateful to have one of these. Um, I have a few friends who have one and they take it everywhere they go. They latch it onto the car seat. Um, and I've seen it actually be really beneficial. And honestly, I think I'll use it myself, so. Um, there are two things that I haven't put in the bag that I will eventually, and that is my bio oil, um, there we go, my bio oil, skincare oil, and then Aquaphor. I, I'm going to make a whole video on like my preferred pregnancy essentials and things that I have found to be beneficial, but I have tried this and then I've tried more of a 
uh, less expensive like drugstore brand with like the lotion and the oil. This by far has been the best oil for my belly. I have seen my scars go from like a bright and deep like purpley scars. A stretch marks go from a bright and deep purpley color to a very very light pale color and honestly it's simply because of this. Um, so I use this on my belly and I plan to use it on my belly even after I'm pregnant. Um, but I'm going to pack this and I'm packing my Aquaphor because I also put Aquaphor on my belly as well because it locks in moisture and your belly can be really, really itchy. So those are the things that I'm taking. I have a black robe. Honestly, this is probably going to get crusty, dusty and old real fast, um, which I'm okay with. And that's why I got it in black. I have the outfit um not really an outfit that I plan to labor in um so obviously when I get to the hospital I want to change um I don't think I will wear a hospital gown I am just wearing this um bikini top that I got off of Sheen um as just some coverage and then obviously I have just some postpartum underwear. Don't even know if I'll need them within the first two days of being in the hospital, but I'm packing them just in case because you never know. I have my going home outfit, which is just this really flowy blue shirt and these shorts because it's getting hotter. And so I have those, those are really comfy. I also am bringing flip-flops with me, specifically black flip-flops or just any flip-flops will do. Um, something you don't mind getting dirty, wearing in the shower. Um, I'll probably wear these as slippers and as uh, shower shoes. So I packed these, these are just old navy. So I will also be packing this lovely fan, not only for myself during labor and postpartum, but I will also be packing it for my son too. The next thing I am bringing is a heating pad. I don't know if I'll use it while in labor. Um, from what I've heard, uh, and I think it depends on like women to women, like your preferences and stuff like that. Um, but during labor, you tend to get hot and sweaty and heat can make some women nauseous but i also know for me heating pads tubs all that stuff um are actually really nice and really comfortable for me so i'm bringing my heating pad with me oh gentry sent me a, a text this is something i've heard about and i've seen other women take and use and so I decided to add it to kind of my postpartum bag. Um, and this is the After Ease Afterbirth Contractions. So you kind of take this and it's supposed to help you with those afterbirth contractions that you have. Because as your uterus is going down, your stomach is still contracting. Your uterus is still contracting. And so there's going to be some pains, especially when breastfeeding, from what I have heard. Obviously, I haven't experienced it because it's my first pregnancy and everything. Um, but I've seen women take this and it has helped to kind of ease their pain and discomfort afterwards. So I am going to take it myself. Let's get to some fun stuff. So something Gentry and I's doula uh, recommended is that we bring some of our own snacks and drink mixes or just drinks in general. So I have some protein bars. These are the Nature Valley protein. Um, these are obviously not the entirely best things for you because they do have like added sugar and all those different stuff. But honestly, it looked the most tasty and something that I would actually eat. Um, so I have those. <clears throat> this was a little indulgent treat for me. This is the Nature's Bakery Fig Bar Strawberry. I love fig bars so, so much. And I love this brand. Um, so I will be having these. And then I bought some Heavenly Hunks. These are oatmeal chocolate chip bites. 
Um, and I packed these because I've read that these are really good for your milk supply and lactation and everything. Obviously, I don't know if my milk, or I don't know when my milk's going to come in, period. But I wanted to have these just to kind of help with that a little bit. And plus they're tasty and sweet. And if you can't tell, I really like sweet things. And then a very, very important thing is making sure you're drinking lots of water and electrolytes throughout labor and even after labor because you're going through a giant marathon of exercise without a break really and you need those electrolytes to fuel you and help you get through everything. So I just have the hydration or hydrant, however you say it, lemonade, no added sugar and no artificial sweeteners. These are just little packets that you put in a water bottle, shake it up, and there you have a water that's flavored but also has electrolytes in it. Let me take another sip of my hot chocolate. Mm. So good. Okay. I have a whole bunch of nursing bras. Um, I have padded ones. I have one padded one and then three or four um, not padded ones. The padded one obviously will be like my going home one and then the other ones are not. Um, my sister used these um, same ones, not the same ones, but like the same brand and I just kind of saw how useful it was and how easy access it was for her and I was like, okay, that's definitely something that I'm going to want and going to need um, and so I'm packing a whole lot of these because I know that they're going to get dirty, they're going to get crusty, and so I wanted to make sure I had a good amount of these. This is something else I'm bringing. This is a stretch mark lotion. Um, I will say, compared to the bile oil, this stuff does not work as well. Like, honestly, if, you, if you're looking for a uh, belly oil or a stretch mark oil, um, I would spend more money and get this stuff than spend probably $6 in buying this because this really did nothing for me. This has done a whole lot for me. Um, but I'm going to take this just in case. So, yeah. It was also recommended by a lot of moms to pack um, like pajamas or shirts and things that were easy nursing accessibility. I just have like this really nice... Well, well, nice. It's from Sheen. Um, but it does have buttons on it down there. So it's just easy accessibility um, for nursing. And I have this one and then I have this one, which is shorts and um, a top. So um, these will be like my pajamas for while I'm there. The next thing I am bringing is an extra long charger. I've seen a lot of moms say that you're going to want it to be extra long. So made sure to pack that. I'm also packing my hatch charger as well. I am packing makeup wipes. Not that I will be doing my makeup. I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, but just so if I feel dirty and gross and nasty, I can just easily wipe my face off um, or anything else. Because honestly, you could probably use this on like the rest of your body. This is my little toiletries bag that I have in here. I am packing stool softeners. I have a little cleanser, dry shampoo, deodorant in here, um, a disposable razor. Don't know if I'll be wanting to shave my legs, but just in case. Um, and obviously shampoo and conditioner and a mini uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. And then I also have hair ties and q-tips and then band-aids in here because I'm always needing a band-aid somehow. I am also packing a comb. Um, this I'm going to use as a way of pan ma pain management, but I'm also going to use it to brush out my hair when and if I need to. So I have two hair clips in here to put my hair back because that's going to be a must. I don't know if I'll use this, but I'm bringing it. I'm bringing a hair straightener. Um, I don't know. I just think it would be kind of nice like the day after I give birth to do my hair and if I can do my makeup um, just before I leave, um, which I don't even know if I'll use this, but um, I'm just bringing it just in case. I am also packing 
my happy little silverettes. If you guys don't know what these are, these were highly suggested by like every single mom that I have ever met. Um, basically, you put these where you imagine you put them and <laughs> they help with the soreness, with the cracking, all of that stuff. Um, my sister told me she was like, literally put them on the minute after you nurse for the first time because she was like, they will save you so much. <laughs> we got a little speaker here. Um, so I can play music and stuff like that. Something our doula recommended just to make the space um, a little bit more homey and relaxing. I have some perfume here to smell good, you know. And then I have a second toothbrush and this will probably be like my husband's toothbrush. I am bringing a belly band. Um, now my midwife told me that she's like, you probably aren't going to want one unless you actually end up having a C-section. Like there's no need for one. Um, but I know that my sister used it a little bit, um, and it just helped her to feel a little bit more secure. Um, so I'm just bringing it just in case, but I don't know if I'll use it until I get home from the hospital. Oh, I have my moisturizer. I just put it in this container. Um, so I can do that. I have postpartum disposable underwear, other otherwise known as diapers. Um, and then I'm also bringing these Freedom Mom um, postpartum boxer briefs. I've heard they feel a lot more secure um, than what the hospital gives you. So I was like, I'll just pack two of these just to be safe. I have the lanolin nipple cream that I'm going to be using um, right off the bat. I'm going to be using it. My sister says that these will save your life. So I have this folder, which is going to be where all the paperwork is put, um, all that stuff. Um, eventually, I'll have one for each kid, but it's just a little fold-out thing. And then my goal is to stick his name on here. So... We have that. I I'm bringing his little baby book. This is a baby book that I got around 20 weeks from my mom and dad. And I've already written a whole bunch of stuff in here, but I can write how much he weighs, when he was actually born, all that stuff so I don't forget it. Um, so I have got all that in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag. I know it was a lot, um, but I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. Um, so yeah, we're just super excited for baby boy to get here. We are so, so close. I am less than a week away from being full term, 37 weeks. Um, and I am just so excited. I can't wait for him to get here. Um, and yeah, we're anxiously waiting. So I will see you guys later. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.